attention many times is, is being diverted from the spiritual prosperity, which is we always be in town. They will even always be in your workplaces. They shouldn't get the whole of your attention. The devil is getting so much praise, so much glory. Many of us even call the name of the devil more than the name of God. Is that true? Until we return back to God and stop running after miracles, stop running after prosperity, we will fail on the last day. I remember some time ago, I used to be very, very sick. I was in secondary school. Catering for myself. So I used to also to be very, very unhappy. One day I prayed as I used to pray before that God, why me? Why this sickness? Why this sickness? God had to tell me a secret that I have used many ways to call you, you refuse to listen. But when I tried sickness, I discovered that you drew closer to me. I gave you more sickness, you drew closer to me. So I decided to use this medium to call you. And I tell you, that time, any time I want to go out, I commit myself into the hand of God. And in the evening, I will ask myself, where have I gone wrong? Where did I got it wrong today? God, am I still right with you? I have the conclusion that even if I lose everything in this world, at least let me make heaven now. You can't lose two things at the same time. There are people who have this world as their heaven. There are some who have this world as their hell. The passage we read, verse 30, Jesus said, with persecutions, what you shall get as a Christian, as a believer. If you get the persecutions of this world, if I get the persecutions of this world and end up in hell, I be in hell with people like Abasha who stole our money and we are suffering today and they will now ask me pastor are you here too 